Hey again, guys. You know what I like to do before I go to dinner? I like to look at some baseball cards. Man, I got three nice ones here for you. Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, a card from the uh, 1936 Worldwide Gum. You know, this set's really hard to come by. And uh, this is a Burgess Whitehead. He was a smooth fielding second baseman in 1937. Uh, led the league in um, fielding percentage and putouts. He was friends with Dizzy Dean and was on the, um, I think it was a 37 World Championship team with him when he was with St. Louis. Then he went to the Giants, won back-to-back -back pennants. Had a little bit of a mental breakdown towards the end of his career um, after he had an apodectomy, I guess. But always glad to add to this set. Now I'm going to show you a, a player who is one of the most underrated players in all of baseball history, and that is Mr. Chuck Klein. I have this batter up card. Now you may be asking yourself, why did it get that grade? Well, I'm asking myself that too. I have a whole bunch of these, and grade aside, graders aside, this is the sharpest one I now own. Has sharp corners. Of course, these high number ones are way harder to come by. Just a beautiful example of this card. And I wrote down some of his stats because, like I said, he's an underrated, under-acknowledged player in both baseball history and, uh, and uh, the hobby, the card hobby. Now, I know... Most of you, if not all of you, will have heard his name and be familiar with him. But, you know, I had to write these down so I don't forget. He was an MVP. He won a triple crown. He won a batting title. He was a four-time home run leader. A two-time RBI leader. He uh, was a stolen base leader. And um, he hit four home runs in a game once. And uh, as a lifetime 320 a hitter. Uh, with 300 home runs and 1,201 RBIs. I mean, uh, just a stud, but just a beautiful card. And how cool is this? I'm willing to bet a lot of you don't even know this card exists. You know, the manager, Bobby Cox, right? Most people know that in 1969... Uh, he was on a Topps baseball card, one with the little trophy, and that's his rookie card. Um, although he didn't last long in the majors as a player. But he also has this card from the 69 Milton Bradley set. Now, if you watch my channel here, you know that I, I collect these cards. So, super excited to add this one to my collection. And hey, that's what I have for you tonight. We can go enjoy uh, a meal with some, uh, surrounded by some good people. Once again, thanks for watching.